Welcome to part two of applications of right triangles. Today, uh, this time, we're going to be taking a look at just a couple more examples. Hopefully, you've tried work number three. Uh, you are a sonar operator on the USS Warnow, and your mission is to locate potential hazards under the water. Your sonar machine picks up a submerged object that has a horizontal distance of 1,500 meters and a vertical distance of 700 meters. So it's just like number uh, two right above it. You fire a torpedo at it this time and you must find the angle of depression uh, you must find the angle of depression this time so we're looking for the angle of depression this time so it's a little bit it is a little bit different as we're looking for the angle of depression so let's draw you you're on the USS War now there it is the object has a horizontal distance of 1500 meters away from you so horizontal of course that's your Whoops, meters, 1,500 meters, and it is located down vertically 700 meters. And there is the object. Now, to be safe, because you don't know what it is, so you fire a torpedo at it. And there we go. We have our right triangle, of course, and there is our hypotenuse C. What we're looking for is the angle of depression. Ah, that's what we're looking for. Now, we are given the opposite and the adjacent. What we need to do is find this angle. So given opposite adjacent, we're going to use, of course, the tangent of theta. The tangent of theta being the opposite, 700 over 1,500. Now remember, to solve for the angle, we have to use inverse trig. So we're going to get the second tangent, inverse tangent of 700 over 1,500, and that's going to give us our theta. So solving that using your calculator, here it is. Again, make sure you're in the right mode, degree mode. Second tangent, 700 divided by 1,500. I like writing it this way, so, if, so in case I make a mistake, I could still get points for at least writing out the correct formula. So I would like to see this step. Hit enter, and we get about 25.017 degrees. So we have to fire the record, the... Oh, it's funny, the torpedo at an angle about 25 degrees to hit the target. Now, the next question says, how far will the torpedo travel? So there's a couple ways we can do this. Draw out your picture again. Doesn't have to be perfect. We know that's 1,500 meters. That's 700 meters. And we just found this angle to be 25.017 degrees. We're looking for the hypotenuse. Of course, the safe side is just to use the Pythagorean theorem. Just like we did above. 1,500 squared plus 700 squared equals C squared. Which gives us, and if you do the math on this, again, very easy. 1,500 squared plus 700 squared. Take the square root of that. We get about... 1,655.29 meters. But there are other ways you can do it too if you want to be fancy. You can use your trig values. For example, I could use sine of my angle. The sine of 25.017 equals the opposite 700 over C. I can use my sine value. Cross multiply, I get C times the sine of 25.017 equals 700. Now you want to copy this down because there are going to be some problems in your homework where you actually have to do this, so make sure you have it. We get C therefore equals 700 divided by the sine of 25.017. So I would like to make sure you at least have this to help you with some of your homework problems because on some problems you actually have to do this where I don't give you all the sides. Finding C, then, it's 700 divided by the sine, whoops, not second sine, 700 divided by the sine of 25.017. And if you notice, I get the same answer. Now, it is a little bit different, but we're rounding. So it's not going to be perfect, but you get about the same, 1,655 meters. Still roughly the same distance. All right now the last problem is one of my favorite problems. If you've ever stood on a beach, and 
you want to see how far is it to the horizon. That's what this question helps you. It's called the visibility problem. So we're standing on the White Cliffs of Dover in southern England at a height of 0.15 kilometers. That's how high it is at that part. You're looking south towards France, and we want to know what is the straight line distance. In other words, what's the distance to the horizon? Assuming that the Earth's radius is 6,400 kilometers and France at its closest is 34 kilometers, would we see France? So to do this one, we're going to draw a picture. We're going to draw the Earth, just a part of the Earth. We're standing on the White Cliffs of Dover. So here we are at the White Cliffs of Dover. And you're looking out to the horizon. Okay? You're looking way out there to the horizon where France is located. Now, this line is going to be tangent to the circle because it's a horizon. So when you're looking out to the horizon, you're actually looking at a tangent. Now, we know that the height here is 0.15 kilometers. Here's the center of the Earth. Now, the center of the Earth to the horizon is 6,400 kilometers. To the White Cliffs of Dover, same thing, 6,400 kilometers. Now, the question always remains, this is a right triangle. Where is the right angle? It's right here because it's tangent. So what we're looking for is this distance right here. Now, it's kind of hard to see, so what I'm going to do off to the side, or in blue, I'll redraw it. Hold on. So there's our whole triangle right here in blue. Okay? That's our whole triangle. And I'm going to draw that again off to the side. We know this is 6,400 kilometers. We know this is going to be 6,400.15 kilometers, we're looking for this distance. And it's a very simple problem. What are we going to use, of course? That's right. The Pythagorean theorem. It's everywhere you need to be. So really, if you want to find the distance to the horizon, you're really just using the Pythagorean theorem. Very simple to use. And anybody can do this. So we use the Pythagorean theorem, A, B, whoops, A, B, C, 6400 squared plus x squared equals 6400.15 squared. And solving it, these get some big numbers, we're going to get x squared equals 6400.15 squared minus 6400 squared. Please don't just take the square root. 6400.15 squared minus 6400 squared. Now you would think well, you wouldn't be able to see that far. But watch, when you take the square root of it, 1920.0225, you get 43.82 kilometers. That's how far you can see on the horizon. So will we be able to see? Yes. We will see France from England. And, the, and that goes like with some history. They used to be able to see the French fleets coming or something like that from Dover. So you can actually see France from England on a clear day. Now, we're going to work a few of these problems in class tomorrow. Make sure you look over these notes and review them if you need to. We'll see you then. Thank you. Bye-bye.